Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you are new here, welcome. I do a lot of beauty, skincare, and lifestyle content. So make sure you guys subscribe and join the family. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Skin. Today's video is actually a little bit different because we are not reviewing a brand for once. We are doing a DIY face mask. And I pretty much grew up using this face mask. I feel like every Somali girl has. And I feel like it's a huge staple for clear skin skin in our culture and I thought I would share with you guys it is known for getting rid of acne, getting rid of facial hair, texture, discoloration, and just giving you a really, really beautiful, healthy looking skin and glow. So if you guys suffer from all of those things that I've listed, keep on watching and let's get to it. So this is how I make mine. I just use some yogurt. Um, then I go in with some honey and of course the star of the show some turmeric as you can see This one has been loved because I've been using it a lot and some lemon as well Now just a heads up guys if you're gonna be going in with the lemon You're gonna want to make sure you use this at night and not if you're gonna be going outside or just when you're indoors because Of the acidity of the lemon could cause you know sun damage So you're gonna want to make sure if you do go outside wear SPF But if not just try to use it more in the evening or when you're just chilling at home and you're not going anywhere. Now there is so many different ways that you can go ahead and make this mask. Some people use olive oil, milk, it's up to you guys, but this is just how I am used to making it and how my mom always used to make it. So first I like to go ahead and just take like a spoon of yogurt and there's no like certain way that you guys have to make the mask. And I'm gonna go in with some honey. I'm making a lot because I want to have some for myself and my mom to use. And I'm gonna go in with turmeric. And the one thing I like about this turmeric is that it comes with a shaker, so I don't have to touch it because turmeric does stain your hands, guys. Like if you're using one that just comes in a plastic baggie or something like that, make sure you wear some gloves or wear clothes that you don't care about because it will stain like it's nobody's business. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake. And then I can always go back for more if I need to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze some lemon in there as well. And I almost forgot to show you guys this ingredient. It's called qasil. And this is like a staple in Somali skincare. All of my Somalis are gonna know what this is because everybody has this in their house and grew up with their moms putting this on their face. I don't know what it's called in English, but you can find it on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description box below for you guys. It's really, really good for a face mask and I've been using it for so long. My mom has always instilled this into my skincare routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that in as well just to thicken up our paste because as you can see, it's a little bit runny. So we just wanna thicken it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this. And this is what it looks like on the inside. If you guys don't want to grab it from Amazon, you can also grab it on any local Somali market. If you guys have one in your area, they will always have this in stock as well. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that now. And just to let you guys know, you need this in your life. This is a major Somali cheat code for clear skin, okay? So thank me later once you guys start to incorporate this in your DIY mask. It is bomb. So yeah, let's get to applying. So I already went ahead and cleansed my face, so I'm all ready to get this mask on. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this mask stains, okay? Big time, guys. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're wearing a t-shirt or something that you don't care about, just in case, if a little drop of this mask goes on your clothing, it's really not gonna come out, guys. It's impossible to get out, so just a heads up. So I like to go ahead and apply the mask with a foundation brush, and this is one that I literally only put aside for my masks, so I don't mind if the brush gets stained as well. And if you have brushes that you cannot sacrifice for this mask, don't worry, guys, just get like some gloves and you can apply it with your fingers as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just start to apply it now. And I'm also gonna go ahead and apply it underneath my eyes. Now with most face masks, you can do that, it's not safe for the eye area but since this is an all-natural mask you can do that and it's really good to help brighten up dark circles i'm really gonna try my best after ramadan to like do this for a month straight and see if it actually helps my dark circles and maybe i'll check back in with you guys with an update or how it helps with my hyperpigmentation but yeah i'll keep you guys posted i really want to try this for a long period of time because i have so many friends of mine who swear by this mask and have done it like consistently and all of their acne scars and everything completely cleared up 
up just by committing to using this for a couple months. So I really wanted to go ahead and show you this mask because since we are on quarantine right now, I feel like it's like the best time to get into skincare. But also I don't want Let's Talk Skin to only be, you know, skincare products reviews. I wanted to show you guys that there are some skincare products that you can use and come up with that can give you amazing results just from whatever is in your kitchen cabinets. So expect more DIYs and I hope you guys like them. This mask is also really good if you guys have special occasions coming up. Use this for like a week straight or at least if you can do two weeks ahead of time, it will really help your skin. And also an interesting fact is if you are someone who suffers with a lot of facial hair, if you use this mask for like a month straight, I've seen online that it helps remove facial hair and it's really, really good of course for hyperpigmentation. Now, if you're someone who is super, super dry, you can go ahead and switch the yogurt out for a olive oil. As someone who has fellow dry skin, I feel like the honey helps with the hydration. So using it with yogurt doesn't really bother me. And you can also use it with milk if you don't have yogurt. So what I'll do is I'm going to link in the description box below different ways that you can make this mask. So just in case if you don't have everything that I have here, you can still go ahead and make this DIY mask with whatever you have at home. So to know when it's time to rinse it off is when it's extremely hard and you feel like you cannot even move your face. That's when you know it's dry enough for you to go ahead and rinse off. Now when you're rinsing off, make sure you use some gloves guys because it will stain your fingernails and your hands. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close-up before I go ahead and let this dry and rinse it off so this is what it's looking like just in case because I felt like my camera angle was actually pretty far for you guys to see me apply it but hopefully you guys got the gist of applying it from a distance so this is what it's looking like after I went ahead and rinsed it off ignore this little redness guys I rinsed my face with um, some gloves and I feel like I went a little too heavy-handed when I was rinsing it off on this eye but let's just act like that's not happening I actually might commit to using this for a month and then maybe give you guys a follow-up update just to see how it you know deals with my dark circles as as well as the hyperpigmentation that I have left and these acne scars and things like that as well as texture to see if it gets rid of texture and stuff. I know a lot of you guys might shy away from the turmeric mask because it does tint the skin. It does leave like a yellow tint but I kind of feel like I don't really have that much of a tint right now so it doesn't bother me too much but for those of you guys who do a little tip that you can do is you can go in with a makeup remover wipe or with a toner on a con pad and it will get rid of the stain or the yellow hue to your skin just a little fyi for me right now i'm gonna leave it as is because i'm not going anywhere i'm just staying home so i'm not gonna go ahead and apply anything else i'm just gonna go in with the rest of my skincare for those of you guys who are interested keep on watching but for those of you guys who only came here for the diy face mask that that is pretty much how simple it is and how easy it is to apply but yeah let's get into the rest of our skincare routine I'm gonna go in with a toner pad for those of you guys who want like a toner and a cotton pad all in one this is the product you need in your life I've showed you guys this in my Ramadan vlog where I did my facial this is the facial radiance pads by first aid beauty so I'm just gonna go ahead with some of that right now I'm kind of doing my nighttime routine because it's more evening time Time, it's more closer to iftar time for us here and I just wanted to show you guys a look at how much of the color stain it took off ignore the little redness that you guys saw around the cotton pad it picked up some of my tinted lip oil that I had on so since our face mask did a lot of the brightening in our skin already I don't want to go in with two brightening products with my serum so instead I'm gonna go focus on hydration more so I'm gonna use my fresh rose deep hydration face serum I love this serum it's definitely like one of my holy grail serums let me know in the the comment section below if you guys would like a video on my top favorite serums because there is a lot that I love so let me know down below and then I'm gonna go in with this face cream by Murad and this is their nutrient charged water gel just gonna go in with some of that it's really good for hydration so I'm trying my best like I said to avoid any products that have any brightening because we don't want to oversaturate too many brightening products on our face after such an intense mask so I'm just going ahead with this if you're part of the dry skin community you need this in your life because it's just so amazing in hydrating your skin and then for eye cream I'm gonna go ahead with my Caudalie Premier Crew eye cream and I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply some on and then we're gonna go ahead and pat it in 
And then I'm gonna finish everything off with this face mist by Murad and this is their three in one multi mist and it's meant for hydration like I said so I'm gonna go ahead with some of that or even if you own the Caudalie Beauty Elixir I love them both these are really good face mists so I'm just gonna take the Murad for today though and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna let that dry, and that is pretty much my nighttime routine done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because that will let me know that you guys would like more DIY skincare content. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Let's Talk Skin. I've been so happy that you guys have been loving this series so far, so I cannot wait to create more videos for you guys. And I really can't wait till we reach our 10K milestone. So subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to join the family, all right? and like always I'll see you guys in my next video